Okay, guys, I'm gonna be reviewing Civil War, Captain America Civil War, just in case I'm like reviewing big battle in American history. No, I'm talking about Civil War, Captain Civil War. But let's get right into it. If I sign off, unlike Thor: The Dark World, which I just reviewed, this is my favorite MCU film. For a lot of the opposite reasons, certainly, I like the tone. I like the tone. How it did feel the same. How it had so many different characters, yet it, the tone managed to stay the same throughout the whole movie. Which, Thor The Dark World failed to accomplish with less characters. But, no, Thor The Dark World. Um, because that's not what we're talking about. Um, I also love how, yeah, I love all the characters. There was not one character that felt undercut because every character, whether it be in the airport battle, whether it be um, against Bucky, whether it be it just anywhere, really, you find, they find a moment to shine. Black Panther, Ant-Man, Spider-Man, and how this accomplishes so much as, like, you also have to introduce Black Panther and Spider-Man. They've never been in any other film. This is their first film. So not only do you have to tell a story, you have to int introduce some new characters. Without the bombing of the, the UN, Black Panther would not have a role in this movie. Without the events in Nigeria, it might not even be worth having having the UN, the Sokovia Accords. That was kind of, yeah, it was after we kind of thought about that after Sokovia, but the Nigeria incident was kind of bad. Tipping. So events in this movie, events prior to this movie, have consequences. That's something that I complained about in Thor The Dark World. It didn't seem like that battle in London had consequences. Here, Washington DC had consequences. New York had consequences. Sokovia had consequences. 
Nigeria has massive weapons, and how they're able to throw kind of side ones like crossbows into the mix and introducing other winter soldiers. They do that so perfectly, and they get it to match. There's about like six different battle acts in this movie, six different set choreography, battles, fight scenes, action scenes, whatever you want to call it in this movie. And they all make it in a unique way, have new, new, unique styles, unique personalities. And again, throughout this whole movie, characters get to shine. Not even to mention the great Tom Holland Spider Man. I love this one. He's so relatable. I'll get to that maybe when I do a Homecoming kind of review. But I just, all these actors in this show, I love Bucky. I love his complex relationship. And, and there's so many reasons that it's not just one reason my cap's doing this, one reason Iron Man's doing this. No, there's multiple reasons in a way that there's a fine line that no other movie has truly made a fan's shoes aside. In this movie, not only does things before this movie have consequences in this movie, this movie has consequences after this movie. As you're seeing, as you're the war, as you're seeing Endgame, in Black Panther, all of that. So hell, so if you love Infinity War, if you love Black Panther, if you love what other movies have consequences, um, would be beneficial through some of them. But what else can you ask? You got that. No problem. Yeah, I can't really think off the top of my head. But yeah, but yeah. After this movie, it does play a factor. And that's why this movie is so great, is that you can always look back on it. And I feel like people have certain people, and I just feel like it's still favors in every movie. Caps, every character you like, and other than Hulk and Thor, then. You got, you got, you have someone you can enjoy. And even if you are sad that you do, you'll find another character that you can relate to. You can find another character that you find just in justice. And so that's why I love Civil War. All those things I just like. Civil War, my favorite MCU film, and one of my favorite movie films of all time. Check out more videos right now.